So do they teach health classes? Absolutely. But, um, you know, does every child get the opportunity to learn about wellness and what that really looks like in action mm -hmm. as, uh, outside of diet and exercise? And that's, that's a whole other conversation as well. Yes. Um, so, so there's that space in K-12 that, you know, they're, they're under the gun for a lot of mandates and, and they need to, they need to stick to that. Um, I can say in my training as um, a nurse, my associate degree, you know, it's kind of bare bones, right? You, you get the skills. And then when you go on for your bachelor's degree, you round out that training with like your gen eds and, and things like that mm -hmm. to get your bachelor's degree. And then of course I went on for my master's degree and that had an emphasis on education. Did I have a wellness class? No. My doctoral degree, did I have a wellness class? No. I mean, could I have sought out an elective with wellness? More than likely I could have, but I didn't. Uh, so a lot of this was, um, you know, almost self-taught by having that first introduction to public health, learning about what the social determinants of health are, which I would love to have an hour long podcast on just the social determinants of health with you. Uh, so that was a really great introduction to how impactful this is to our health. SDOH is, uh, you know, accounts for about 60% of our health outcomes. So quite impactful. Uh, and I think training training has changed. So there are some more components. My, my training has been a little bit dated. Obviously, I've been in the career pathway for a long time. But um, as, as far as I am aware, like in medical school, you know, I think there's like 12 hours devoted to nutrition. And, you know, I mean, out of how many years <laughs> of, of uh, schooling. So, so really, historically speaking, wellness and primary prevention activities have not taken a front seat in traditional medical type training. Mm 